52% of the industry's forecast for global capacity expansion during the year 2005-2010. Thus, providing outsourcing opportunities in some sectors to these countries will open up huge opportunities for corporations in developed countries like US in other areas. This again is a win-win proposition. Let me get to the sixth one, that is the flat world paradigm is a sine qua non for a peaceful world. It is generally agreed that most of the anger, violence, and terrorism that we see today is due to the huge economic divide that exists between the haves and the have-nots. A sure way to reduce this divide is to focus on bringing the poorer world into the mainstream by making them trade partners so that it's a win-win proposition. A world concentrating on improving the quality of life through international trade is likely to be a peaceful world. Thanks to the multilateral trading system, ideological blocks get weakened. Once trade becomes the focus of relationship between two countries, any geopolitical differences are likely to be resolved peacefully since no politician will be ready to lose trade and bring down the economic well-being of his or her people. Having covered the benefits from the flat world phenomenon, now let me address some of the concerns expressed in this country about the flat world. Clearly, the first concern is about the loss of some jobs in the short term. Critics argue that globalization favors outsourcing and increase in immigration, both of which result in job losses and lower wages. Both these have some validity, but there are studies to show that it's not always so. A study by two economists at the University of California, Robert Friestra from Davis and Gordon Hansen from San Diego, examined the impact of outsourcing of labor-intensive components 